Lord. Now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people a light for revelation to the Gentiles and to glory to your people Israel. Amen. Living in faith. Well, I'm down by Bristol now on the M5 on the south down. This strongly spiritual chap gave me a lift down this way and fed me to. Sean Nepal is a Welsh chap, but living right on the edge, selling fish with last night <laughs> Glasgow and all sorts. So, <coughs> anyway, I've ended up at a rain line motor a service station, but in an awkward spot. But back in the West Country, which I know, I'm training to a medical doctor in Bristol, which is nearby Bristol University, and also I worked at a place called Cheltenham. I haven't had a night's sleep yet properly on this question of going to China or not. Your will for me, my friend. I can only live each day as I find it. like well, being in a dark room, completely dark place. My only guide is you in Manos to our stomach. This idea of China has come into my At least it's an idea, something to get my teeth into, whether or not anything comes to it. I'm just getting tired now. <laughs> to do what, or what will come of it? I know full well that without your spirit in me, I can do nothing. I know this, you've shown me so often. So, it's an adventure. Nothing's new. I've been living each day in faith now for many years. Yes, I long for companionship of my fellow Christians. But I must as ever follow you, my Lord. This is what I do. Wherever it leads me, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no complaints. This morning's reading was that you give up everything, including oneself. Well, this I do fully. I love you, my Lord, with all my heart and my soul. <laughs>